Hi, good morning. I thought today we're going to talk about these cathedral churches. Um, I started looking into them more thoroughly um, after the video I did with um, Mary Hardy. And I'm like, hmm, because she mentioned the organs being built into these edifices. And I'm like, hmm, what was that all about? So I started remote viewing. And this is what I've come up with. Okay, these places, these churches, these cathedrals, they initially were built by a prior civilization. And they were healing centers. This is where you would go to get fixed, healed. If you have problems, you go here, and it looks like the organs were designed that it would put out a certain vibration. They would find out what's wrong with you. You'd go in here, and you would. they would play the organ music, and after you'd sit in there for a while, it would cellularly heal you. I mean, it's phenomenal. It's the stuff I was seeing they were doing. These places, these cathedrals, these churches were actually, uh, they're resonating centers. I don't know how else to call these, but resonating health centers. Look at the technology in our utopian world that we used to have. So in our reality, after the last reset, and oh yes, we have been reset several times. Um, they had taken all of this technology, because it's a technology. It's on a different style of technology. Instead of being mechanical, it's more on etheric technology, which is the highest technology of all. The stuff that we're giving, like anything that's mechanical and stuff like this, it's or technological, it's inferior compared to this technology. So it looks like they took this technology, the AI and the Archon agenda. Um, we have been taken over by AI and the Archonic being who is behind taking over the AI. Please go see video three and five. Um, or you're not going to know what I'm talking about. Um, I know I've had new subscribers and I don't know if you've seen those two videos. They are the foundation of everything that I'm saying. Video three and five. They're huge. They're huge. They're, they're quite eye-opening. So it looks like everything's been inverted. So at one point, these churches would put resonating energy out and to heal on a cellular level. And now they've been termed that they instead draw in the energy and it's directed to a certain area and it's being used as a sustenance of food and energy. Of course, we are electrical beings and AI sees us like batteries. Of course we are because we're constantly producing energy because we are electrical beings. This carbon shell is only a shell. So... And of course, the Archon is feeding off of us because he doesn't reciprocate with Source. He feeds into Source his things that he's learning, whatever, however you want to call that, but he doesn't get anything back from Source, which forces him to basically use us as food. Please go see video three and five. Let me stress that again. <laughs> so I'm seeing that the civilization and I guess it's associated with the Tatarians or Tatar or Tataria. But what I'm actually seeing is these beings actually came from maybe Ireland or something like this because they were redheaded giants. And they moved to Tataria and made it a home base. And of course, then they were labeled Tatarians. But actually, the people that were indigenous to the area are nomadic and they are the true Tatarians. And they were just these nomadics um, are being saying, OK, well, no, they, they, they're just nomadic people. They couldn't done all this technology. Well, because it isn't them. It's the redheaded giants that are actually, I guess they might even be Celtic. <laughs> so Irish people. And they are not like us either because they're giants. So there's a whole backstory to that civilization. They're the ones that um, 
went through after after devastation of devastation where there was resets and would always put the utopian Shangri-La, Valhalla, snow globe back together if there were these natural disaster calamities. <clears throat> so, and some of those calamities are not natural at all. <laughs> Let me say that right off the bat. This whole snow globe has been and will be ruled by the evil Archon. <laughs> He's been having influence and this place has been trying to be taken down for a very long time and then it finally succeeded this last reset. We were completely taken over. We were dumbed down to a point of ridiculousness and taken over. But going back to the churches, um, so these cathedrals and churches were actually health centers with resonating energy. Um, can you imagine the utopian reality of living in those times where there was no lack for anything. Um, the buildings were made that they would tap into the ether and get the energy. None of this high wire bullshit crap. It just, it wasn't a part of the reality. We have so much free energy, but we are taught so skewed left that we don't even see what's right in front of us. Yeah. And it's through the buildings and the crystallization in the buildings and copper wiring, the entire reality is a, where we live anyway, it's a organite mechanism. So please go research organite energy. Um, Mary Hardy talked about it in her video she did. So please go look up Mary Hardy. Um, interesting. I will say, though, that some of her stuff isn't quite right where she says we're in a round ball. Well, overall, the toroidal field around all of us is a round ball, but we are on a small part of the bigger earth, and if that is very kept from you. That's a huge secret, and they really try to push that round ball. Um, the things that you are seeing outside of this toroidal field are energy beings. They call them stars and what have you. They're still energy beings. Um, this uh, Everything is a huge fabrication. Um, we have been very lied to on many levels. Um, we have been completely brainwashed, heart washed. I did a video on heart washing where you need your heart and you need your brain to connect to manifest things because you have to have your passion behind what you want. Your brain is only a focusing tool. Matter of fact, there are crystals inside of your brain. Well, there's crystals inside of our entire body. In every drop of water, you have crystals. And we have so much potential if we could just learn how to tap into it. Um, you ever want something so much, you focus on it, you want it, you say it out, and, you book, and the next thing you know, you have it. We have such abilities that need to be tapped into. Um, I heard something. I heard something about these breatharians, and I'm very interested in these breatharian beings, not the ones that go and live on juiced foods. <laughs> I'm talking about real ones that don't have any sustenance and they don't have the same. Uh, body structure as we have and as far as I know there are no true breatharians that are in human form because the moment you're putting any kind of anything into your mouth and I'm talking liquid anything I don't care if you juice it or what have you you're not a breatharian that's not a true breatharian yeah you can live on juiced foods that doesn't make you a breatharian <laughs> but I just think it's very interesting that um Everything's been so inverted and we really need to get a hold of our reality and stop the insanity of what's going on and take back our power. Stop listening to the media, which I know people that watch this, you're not the ones I'm actually talking to. It's everyone else who doesn't listen to this, which is a shame. But I am hoping that this is like the hundred monkey effect. They did this experiment with monkeys where this one monkey lived on an island, it had potatoes, it had sand on the potato. So it went down to the water, washed the potato, and the next thing you know, other monkeys on the island started washing their potatoes. And then, here's the hundred monkey effect. On other islands, those monkeys started washing their potatoes because it shows we're all connected. We're all connected. So if you know the information, you are a transmitter with all the crystals in your mind and you will transmit this out 
into the ether of your knowledge. And this is how the awakening begins. This is how the awakening starts. By you knowing what you know, it's being transmitted out. Yes, yeah, some of us are kind of dense and um, those transmitters are being reflected because of the media. This is why the media is pumping so hard. Pay attention, pay attention, pay attention. Fear, fear, fear. It's the end of the world. Wake up. Look what you're doing. Because they're trying to distract you. Because if you're not distracted and you go out into the woods, all of this information is going to be coming into you naturally through the etheric system. Because we are connected like the hundred monkeys. And this is what they're desperately trying to stop. So I guess that's all I'll talk about today. And everybody have a great day.